Hi, hello everyone, welcome to my new video in Vision Architecture series. So in this video we are gonna look how to train YOLO V8 model in Google Colab. So easy and simple training. And let's go on to the video. So here, here I have created a new notebook in Google Colab. And in Drive I have uploaded my images where uh, in our first video I have, uh, I've Use, I have annotated it using Label Studio and please do watch my first uh, video so it will be in description below and yeah you could see this and I have created a data, data folder in this, in this I have image file that is one image I have trained for I mean I have annotated for one image that is dog and label for one image that is dog.txt That uh, you have the class and the bounding box that is x men, x max, and y men, y max. So, yeah, let's go and let's open your V8. So, just type YOLO V8 and Google. You will see a GitHub repository where uh, alternatives have made an amazing APIs as well as uh, code snippets for you. Just, just copy it. Just paste it, git clone, type git clone. And one more important thing is before that you could you could use before that you should change the runtime to GPU. Yeah, it's been in GPU. I'm gonna save it and you you should download the Ultralytic setup file. First initial stage you wanna set up it. Just open the documentation of Hydraulics. Just to check the GitHub repo below and just copy it and paste it in your just paste it in your notebook. Then control enter, just run the program. Now it is running. I've uh, connected the drive to it's good and running the uh, got the Hydraulics file. And finally, let's straight away go to the training part and copy. Yeah, we have training section here. So just copy this and paste it here. Just paste it. Now if we need YOLO V8 N model that is which was collected here. Yeah, Ultradix had provided an amazing API, so call this. So this model has been an amazing. So YOLO V8 and .pt. You could even use YOLO. Here we go. Yeah, YOLO V8 again. Yes, medium. That is small, medium, and large as well as extra large. So uh, yeah, if you download it, just want to cancel it. Just go here, then you need to edit your custom.yaml file that is CSD custom.yaml where I have here and custom I need to search for it. So go to examples. No, not here. So alternatives I can go to alternatives data sets. Then yeah, I've got here. Create a custom file that is I can create and find your file. New file is created here. Custom dot So yeah, I've created it. Yeah, I've enter and here, here we go. Here we have this custom Just copy this from we need from frames. Copy and paste in an R custom dot Here we go. But R only classes top that is DOG. I want to remove these two because we don't have enough classes. We have trained the fully classes. So here we have trained the data set. We have 
validation set. Just copy the data set which is in drive. Uh, open the drive. Um, here data we have the images. Just copy this. And you need to copy the same for test. If you split it train and test, you could go with train and test part. But as of now, I just want to copy. I uh, want to. I don't want to split the test and train as I have only one image annotated. So if you have your custom data set, whatever the size, or whatever the frame, how much ever it's, uh, the frames might be, you could go with. And yeah, I've created my and change all occurrences. Just close it. Just close it, and you could change the box to even, even five or ten or five hundred. Depends on your data set. Yeah, the name size is six forty. You could change for thousand, two hundred, or even two twenty four. That's depend on your depends on your. Data set. Everything depends on your data set. So just I want to run it. Yeah, it's running fine. That's cool. I've got an error. Custom dot y does not exist. So uh, we have got an error. So let me let me just copy this. So yeah, we. So just copy this, copy part, paste it. Just here. Now, if you run the program, run the cell, I think you could run it. Yeah, it's downloading the model. It's going good. I think you could check the status or validation sets here in localhost. Random list is out of range. I don't know. Let me check it. The random list is out of range. That is, I have only one data set. That's their problem. Then I could go with another data set. Let me check, check for other data set. I'm just checking it. Just want to give two, two, four. Mm -hmm. that size. Here we have the documentation, the entire documentation here. So training box mid size. I have a box here. Just want to copy this. This one equal to one. So now I'm going to run it. I think I've disconnected to this.
this when I run this? Run it again. It's running. Bat size equal to one, so just run it. If you have more data set, then it's good to go with more data set. Yeah. Oh, then we are forgetting an error that we don't have custom dot mm -hmm. Then again, we need to create it. Just go to hydratics then go to data set then again you need to create the custom .yml that is you gonna create new file custom.yml and just click enter then open another coco meet yml file just copy path here And open the custom dot yml. Paste it here. Just you need to run doc. This is my, and I just want to copy my data set that is from drive. Yeah, here we have images data set. I just want to click copy path. Here. Here go change all occurrences. Gotta go. We have to run this. Very good. Let's close this. It's running good. list out of range I think uh, I have only one uh, test set I mean only one annotated file so it's coming like this and you could go with even now for training I just want to go with Coco data set so I just open the data set Coco 120 just copy this path Just control enter to run. It's running fine. Yeah, it's good. It's running good. And the results are saved to runs to that brain three. So it's running. I just gonna stop this because uh, we have no enough time. Yeah, it's just it could run this, and I just wanna uh, download this model that that is in runs to that train three. So we have runs here. Uh, you should find the runs. So just refresh this page. You get the runs file. Control text. Yeah, we have runs here. So runs detect, then we have train 3, we have weights file here. So here we have our best PD model. So just click download. I'm gonna download it because my Firefox was completed. Yeah, I've downloaded it. It's good to go. And this is my this is my best model. Thank you guys uh, for prediction. You could see the ultralytics documentation here. We have even prediction files that is here. 
so just click on predict find the results here and next video we're gonna predict uh right predict the images uh, image data set using yolo thank you thank you guys thank you for watching this video thank you so much